It's the unboxing of the Incredisonic Ultra Play. It is a media streaming player that uh, uses your external storage, uh, USB drives, SD cards, micro SD cards as a, as a storage that you just plug right in, right into the back, and an HDMI out, and your TV. The uh, device here you can see is pretty small. It has all of the information on the back about the supported uh, video types here. It's actually quite a large list. Uh, MKV, MPEG-4, and a whole bunch of other ones. M uh, WMV, Codex, uh, H.264, um, DivX, uh, you've got MP3s, you got FLAC, uh, different languages, compatibility, HDMI, uh, 1080p, audio, HDMI, uh, 2.0, storage, USB 2.0, and file system FAT32 and NTFS. It contains the uh, HD uh, media player itself, the remote control AV cables and AC adapter uh, micro USB uh, so that's for the AC. Uh, it does not come with an HDMI cable. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Packs it all in here. Uh, looks like the AV cables uh, output normally. It's got a one a, a single adapter that combines all three. You've got your power brick right here. Fairly small. A remote and your user guide. Take a look at the remote here. All right, actually, it's nice. It's a nice remote. It's a it's a good small size, but not uh, it's not tiny. It has a lot of functions on here. Um, your power, your mute, uh, music, uh, movie music, setup, photo, file, repeat, rotate, home, audio, subtitles, OSD uh, ratio, go to. Your navigation buttons here with an OK button to select, play pause, return. It really does look like a kind of a DVD player type of format. Rewind, fast forward, previous, next, uh, volume, uh, reset, and you've got these colored keys down here. Audio, video is AV, zoom in, and HDMI. So I'm not certain what those do yet. Doesn't come with any batteries, it looks like. Uh, it does take uh, two AAA. Look at the device here. So, this is really tiny. All right. It's got a little bit of a scuff on it here. Yeah, it's just, uh, just a little bit of debris. So, it's got a metal shell. It's a, a semi-gloss black here. It's not super high gloss. You got on the one side here, you've got you at your USB. Um, this is a micro USB adapter for, so that's actually in this end for the uh, five volt charging. So that would be storage SD. This is your IR blaster. Uh, on the back here you've got your HDMI, you've got your AV, I'll be using HDMI, but it's nice that it does include this, uh, and micro. Simple, I like it. Got the Incredisonic Ultraflay all hooked up here, and... 
didn't have space for it on my media center at this very moment, so I just have it hanging. It's really easy to do that, small. I've got a 64 gigabyte ultra fast uh, USB storage with the movie in there. We're gonna go ahead and try that out. I've got this hooked up to HDMI, plugged in. The IR blaster portion is on front, so I need to uh, just have that pointed toward me. Coming back here, let's take a look at our controller. We've got uh, batteries loaded, so let's go ahead and uh, check it out. I got it on screen so saver at this very moment. There we go. So the home screen gives you file, movie, music, photo, and settings. Let's go ahead and check out the settings. Language is uh, English by default. Uh, the actual uh, video output mode by default comes to you at 720. So you'll want to change that depending on your TV resolution. Um, mine was 1080p. So I'm navigating this using the arrow buttons here. So I just go ahead and press return on the controller <clears throat> and it gives you a quick readout of what's set. Uh, I've got the ability to do autoplay, uh, and then we've got a system information tab here, which will give you, this is version 2.15.05. Okay, let's go back home, and there's actually a dedicated uh, button here. Let's go ahead and see if I can focus in here. So we've got uh, dedicated buttons for movie, music, setup, photo, file, a lot of the same stuff. It's kind of sitting on the screen here. So I don't have any music or photos, but I do have one uh, Blu-ray quality movie in MPEG-4 format here. It's in the USB device. I just have it sitting here in a subfolder. I didn't uh, categorize this at all. Uh, it's gravity, and it shows three gigs. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's going to give me a prompt here. Let's see if I can get closer. So resume play black playback. I uh, was playing it prior to this to test it out, so let's go ahead and try this resume function. Since we left Cape Canaveral, now you decide to shut up? Talk to me. Yep. Just say something. Say anything. I don't care. Yep, yeah, looks good. So paused it using uh, the OK button, but there's also a dedicated uh, pause button right here. And we've got fast forward. <clears throat> Uh, reverse or fast forward, uh, next and previous, next and previous, or would actually I'd imagine go to the next and previous video files, since I don't actually have chapter set up in this MPEG-4 file. Volume up and down, let's go ahead and try some of these. Volume up and down, yep, looks good. And you've got, uh, let's go ahead and start it, let's fast forward. Play. There's really no lag at all. Uh, let's see, we've got a we've got a ratio button, so you can change your video ratio here if you want to just stretch it. Um, you've got a go to option, so you can actually choose to go to a certain part of the file, which is uh, kind of a cool feature. So if you don't want to have to fast forward through it, you could go through here, I'm at 48 minutes, and I could go ahead and go to 55 minutes. I should have press the, and press the play button and it will give it that option to go to that point. Uh, the zoom function doesn't do anything for me because I, I, I imagine you need a certain file format to make that work. Um, and that's about it. That's the main features. And you also have a, a dedicated button for um, mute and let's see, that button right there will mute. And uh, that's about it. It's a nice, nice form factor here. And then you have an off switch. Turning off. 
and let's go ahead and boot it back up. And it comes up right away, super quick. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up in the comments. Uh, otherwise, if you want to see my other reviews, I have a website, radpursuit.com, or I also have a YouTube channel. And feel, feel free to subscribe to that. All right, thanks, and we'll see you again.